Welcome, time for some art fun. Today, it's the Jackson's Sale Hall, so stick around. Several weeks ago, Jackson's had a huge watercolor sale. Wow. And if you've been watching this channel, then you know that I got this amazing watercolor palette that I've been filling with super granulating watercolors. And I have this whole middle row that I wanted to fill and then this will be complete and it will live in my studio forever because it's become my absolute favorite palette for reasons you can probably see. <laughs> so I had a few additional colors that I had my eye on and I decided to get a bunch of them in this ginormous sale that Jackson's had. I did a pretty good job of controlling myself. Let's see how we even open this. How does this work? You all ever had one of these weird, like what? <laughs> um, what are we doing? Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> all right. Ugh. So I decided to try to control myself. I got some colored pencils based on Colorfully Optimistic here on YouTube, showing me how to draw red hair. And I decided I wanted to get every color, if I didn't already have it, that she used for that tutorial so I could do a play-by-play -play following of her tutorial. So those are the two topics of things I got, colored pencils and watercolor. So let's see what we got. Jackson's always does a good job of like reusing packaging. This one just has one. This is the Dark Sepia. Faber-Castell colored pencil. These are so nice and heavy. I really love polychromos pencils. So that's one. Put that here for us to ogle while we open the rest. So that box had one pencil. This one has six. Someone explain. Does anyone work at Jackson's? Honestly, wouldn't that be so cool if someone who works at Jackson's answered in the comments and explained why they do those funny packaging methods. So this is Pale Geranium Lake. Again, we're getting pencils for a red hair tutorial. This is Matter. I've seen Rose Matter, never just Matter. These are all going to be polychromos, by the way. Dark Red. I was blown away by how many pencils she uses to do red hair. It was really cool. Deep Red. Middle Cad Red, and then this one feels really good, oof, Beige Red <laughs> for the highlight color. So what a cool little assortment of pencils. I'm going to leave this out because sometime this week I'm just going to follow along with her red hair tutorial and just try to learn how to do hair that much better. She is amazing. I highly recommend her channel. Her name is Corey. Colorfully optimistic. She's so nice. She always responds to comments. Her community is just lovely. A lot of you are already over there, and I've seen you over there in her live streams, so we're already buddies on her channel. Here are, ooh, Lord. Lordy, 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 come on. Come on. Come on, packaging. Here is the watercolor section. Look at these funny things. I wonder why they still use those. I feel like that's super outdated now. Peanuts, <laughs> styrofoam peanuts. I'm like, Ugh, that kind of makes me sad. Let's hope that's not a theme in the future. Okay, I got Glacier Green. Ooh, can't wait for that. I got Shire Olive. You guys, when I freaking swatch these later, I genuinely think you're going to lose it. This is, oof, it's going to be gorgeous. Here, let me zoom you in there. I hope my desk isn't too messy. I'm sorry for that. I got Galaxy Brown. Ooh. Ooh, it's already cute. <laughs> Tundra Pink. This one just looked like such, like almost a potter's pink dupe. Just like a cool pinky gray. Tundra Violet. <laughs> this one looks like almost a black purple. I'm so excited to use this for shadows. Let's put that there. I also got Deep Sea Violet, which is more of, as you can see, a traditional purple then this i mean even just from the little sample on the top the printed sample on the top but it'll be more fun when we actually do the swatches and then deep sea green Ooh, i'm so excited holy smokes okay so once we swatch those out we will add it and make a new card i wonder if it can use that yeah i'll use the back of this card 
and we'll make a new card with that middle row. I'll probably end up reorganizing things so the yellow and red can go up there. And we'll have our final set of super granulating watercolors that I've been loving. Oh, I love this palette so much, you guys. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so we are going to unwrap, swatch, and make a test painting with these bad boys. And let me just tell you, oh my goodness, I'm oh so obsessed with these. I just look at the swatches of what I already had on the right. This is my swatch book. And every time I get a new supply, I like to test it out in here. It is just a very basic Arteza sketchbook. And I love to just see how things look on either the watercolor page, which these are, or the plain, like sort of flat page, which I use more for the, for the colored pencils. And when I first made my video, when I first got these super granulating colors above where I'm adding here, I lost it so hard. I'm obsessed with these colors. They make me so excited, so happy. And the new ones that I got are just like that. They just continued. It was all the same over the top excited feeling. I think that these colors are so special and they get me so excited to paint, which is why I did do a test painting. So on this channel, if you're interested in super granulating colors, I have my initial haul and swatch when I first got them and set up this palette. I have a test painting where I actually painted my dog with these paints and I loved that painting. I put it right up on my red bubble shop. And if you don't know, you can buy stickers and prints and coffee mugs and travel mugs and tote bags, whatever you want on my Redbubble shop. It's always linked in every description for you to go check that out. But when I got these and I made this new test painting, I think it's really good for you to be able to see the different kinds of things you can make with this. I also used them in my video about loving on my art supplies where I painted a toucan and I painted a whale, like a really fun chubby whale with these paints too. I love them. They live on my desk. I use them constantly. I look for reasons to use them. And so I was really excited when I saw a link to a Jackson sale, both on Corey's uh, subscription feed, um, the, the community page. When you go in your subscription feed and you're subscribed to a channel, then you see the community posts by that um, YouTuber. So I saw it on Corey's channel. I saw it on Sketches and Scrubs channel. I love her too. Y'all know I love me some Sketches and Scrubs. She's amazing. She's so sweet. So I just saw it all over sort of art YouTube subscription community page notifications that I get. And I ran over there and decided to get these half pans. Now I decided on half pans this time because I am trying to cut back on my watercolor purchases. I'm not trying to just collect and have piles and piles of stuff. I wanted to try these and see how much I love them because I know I'll use a half pan up, no problem. But as far as a 15 milliliter tube, I'm not sure if I'm gonna love any of these colors that when I haven't tried them yet enough to finish them. Now that I have seen them, I for sure would want full tubes of these colors in this palette, there are a couple of colors that are close enough that I would just have one tube at a time of certain colors that are too similar um, to really need all of them. But there are enough colors that I love so much that I definitely am going to have piles of these watercolors in my studio for the rest of my I mean, I hope they never discontinue these because I love them more than any other watercolor I've ever tried. The super granulating Schmincke colors are just so breathtaking to me. There are also color shifting um, and granulating Daniel Smith colors that I'm obsessed with. But for something about these Schmincke colors, especially the ones that I picked for myself, they just really appeal to me. And I can't stop staring at this page. And it just makes me think of all the things that I want to paint. So I will say for today's comment, if you would comment below which of these new colors that I got you would pick if you could only pick one to me that would be like the hardest question to answer but this glacier green is gonna elbow some people out of the way for that top slot I'm already a green person and a blue person and a purple person those are sort of the the way that I lean um, but that glacier green looks like nothing else I've ever seen the Shire olive was super special and I loved the violets the sort of black violets and they were different enough that I would want both of those in my palette. So I just don't know. I don't have words as an artist who loves art supplies as much as I do. These granulating watercolors just make me want to be in my studio. They distract me from whatever else I'm doing because all I want to do is get in the studio and use these. 
So take a look at this beautiful array of colors. I like this large area so you can really see what's going on and definitely let me know in the comments which ones you would want. Now this is my Faber-Castell Polychromos colored pencil swatch page, also in my Arteza swatch book. And this is on the smooth page. So if you've never had an Arteza watercolor sketchbook, it alternates from watercolor paper to the back of the watercolor paper, which is smooth. It's not also watercolor paper. So I like to use the smooth side for things like Posca pens and markers and colored pencils. And I like to use the watercolor side for gouache and watercolor and acrylic. And acrylic actually goes well on both sides, but like acrylic gouache, I actually like to use that on watercolor paper mostly. And so this is the flat side, and these are the new colors that I got, all of which would be used for gradations or gradations, gradients, I don't know, let me know in the comments which it is, I never know which one with that word, um, <laughs> for making red hair. I highly recommend you go watch that video if you're interested in how to make beautiful, interesting looking hair with your art, if you do portrait work. I've gotten a lot more confident in including hair, it, like more details in my hair when I'm painting because of Corey, even though she's a colored pencil person, I feel like the method, the concept makes sense to me enough that I can mimic it with watercolor, with acrylic, with colored pencil, with markers. It's just really cool. So these are my new colored pencils. I love my array. I was diving into this painting right here with the super granulating watercolors and I had it in part of the focus going in and out for a second in the beginning. Um, I hadn't been recording. I was just diving in, having fun, enjoying myself. And then I realized, oh, they probably want to see like what ended up happening with this palette, how I rearranged it and what I do with these super granulating watercolors. I actually got a comment a while back on that first haul saying, oh, I'd love to see if you could actually make a painting with this palette. And then immediately got a comment on the video of my dog, Tuffy, that I'd painted with this palette saying, you know, touche, I stand corrected. There you went and made a painting with this watercolor palette. It didn't occur to me that people would doubt that you can make beautiful artwork with this palette, but it kind of makes sense to me if you've never used it. Maybe it seems like a specialty or like you wouldn't be able to do detail work or have enough control or something. But I loved this painting. It was raining on the day that I painted this and I just felt like it was so moody and so appropriate. I might paint it again and not even fill in the leaves because I liked that stage too but I hope that you enjoyed seeing these paints in action. I'm obsessed with these paints. I'm giving you a super slow roll so you can tell me in the comments which ones, but do you see what I mean with that glacier green? I've just never seen anything like it. It reminds me of how the Cascade green also looks like something you've never seen before. How the Green Appetite Genuine, both are, of those are from Daniel Smith, look like something you've just never seen before. Moon Glow looks like something you've never seen before. It's in that, a lot of these are in that category of like, what am I even looking at? This is so complex and amazing and just makes your imagination run free. That's how it feels to me. And so I just can't say enough wonderful about these art supplies. I'm so glad that Jackson's had a sale because I wanted more, but was really struggling to put a lot more money into it. And being able to just try these little candy half pans is such a great way for me to get into more colors, try more colors, and then I can decide when I use stuff up what I'm going to replace with 15 ml tubes. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like and a comment below. Check if you're subscribed. If you're not, I would so appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, create something cute.